Hi, welcome back to Outdoor Gear and Skills. Uh, it's been a couple of weeks since Halloween, and I helped uh, decorate for a, a local haunted house uh, before I left to go on my cruise. I actually didn't get to go through the, uh, the final version of the haunted house um, as I was flying out that evening. But we, one of the things that I did for this haunted house was stretch out uh, these, these cotton fake uh, spider webs. And so I've actually got this whole bag here of stuff that was left over uh, from when, when we took it all down. And I thought, man, that, that right there is awesome fire starting stuff. I don't want to just throw that in the trash. I don't know if that's really going to work. Uh, it kind of comes in, in a bag, you know, about this big. And as you pull it out, it's in a long strand. You're supposed to stretch it and then you kind of pull it apart and, and make all these cobweb looking things. And so I just thought, wow, free, uh, free fire starter. So I haven't tried this out yet. Um, three different colors. We had white, green, and black. And so I just wanted to see if this stuff is going to go up with a lighter and if it's flammable. Um, if it is, then I will take to uh, trying some of my different fire strikers. Uh, but if it won't even burn, then, you know, it's kind of a non-issue. And I've just got a bag of trash here that I'm going to have to put out on the curb tonight. So um, I'm going to start with a black one just because it's the, the smallest. Maybe it's easiest to see. And so I just want to see if it's not really grabbing a flame. It is kind of melting like um, kind of like paracord does. You know, on the end, it's kind of melting and getting... Um, you know, getting some kind of burnt edges there, but it's not really starting up. I, I don't know that this is going to start up with a fire striker. Um, and as soon as I take the lighter off, it pretty much just kind of goes out. So that's the black. Um, I don't have the packaging with me, so I don't know if this, obviously it's not 100% cotton, um, but... I'm going to go ahead and try the green here a little bit and see what that does, if it behaves in the same way. Um, so I don't have the packaging to look at the composition of this. Uh, it's definitely got cotton in it, but same thing. You can kind of see where it's melting, a lot like paracord does when you cut it and you burn the ends uh, so it doesn't fray. So that's not really working right there. So I'll try the, the white stuff. That almost looked like it was burning for just a second right there where it kind of melted, but not, uh, not really burning, more just kind of melting. Um, so I would say that uh, not, not a great fire starter. I do want to go ahead and just contrast that really quick. Old peanut butter jar here uh, full of cotton balls. These are uh, cotton balls that I got at Fred... or. Uh, Walmart. I was going to say Fred Meyer. got them at Walmart. And the nice thing about these is that it is wound up kind of like a hay bale. So instead of just being a cotton ball, it actually opens up and unravels. And I did not know this when I bought these. This was something that uh, I found out when I got home. But the nice thing about that is I can cut a little piece off. Um, I can add Vaseline different things, you know, whatever, or I can just use the cotton. So with this, let's just give this a little bit of a light here. And as you can see, that thing went up and is burning, unlike this that just melted. So unfortunately, I don't have a bag of fire starter. Um, maybe I could add, you know, like Vaseline to it or something and it would do something. But honestly, I would rather just go ahead and do that with cotton balls, um, especially where I can just kind of unroll this one, maybe put some Vaseline in it and roll it back up. And as it burns into the Vaseline, it would do that. I don't know, you know, maybe I'm going to try this and kind of see, but I, I'm not hopeful that how it 
worked right now that putting Vaseline on there is really going to do anything when I've got a bag of one or 200 cotton balls that would do the same thing so it wouldn't even be worth holding on to. So just one of those things that I, I thought I'd give it a try and see. Sometimes things don't work out as well as you think they will or it kind of seems like a good idea and it doesn't work out, which is fine. Um, you know, if it weren't for that, then, you know, people like Thomas Edison and the Wright brothers, you know, wouldn't have uh, figured things out if they didn't, you know, have an idea and kind of go after it and, and just keep trying when something doesn't work. So I might go ahead and, and mess with that and see, but at this point, I'm thinking that's probably, uh, you know, a dud and not going to work really well. You know, on a day like this where it, it's overcast, it was raining over the night, I think it's supposed to rain later this week. Um, high for the day here in Southern Oregon was uh, about 50, 52 degrees. I actually went mountain biking, just got done a few minutes ago, and I just wore um, a t-shirt and, and I was okay. But as I sit out here right now, it is getting a little chilly. You know, it's getting cold. I definitely wouldn't want to go through the night out in the woods uh, without a fire. So fire is very important to me. You know, it's it's the first need I've got to deal with is is that, you know, it's kind of maybe a toss up uh, between shelter, but I've got to get fire going. Food is kind of my third. Um, I'd rather be warm and hungry. And I've said this before, rather be warm and hungry than cold and full. So um, thanks for kind of coming along with me and seeing, you know, how that works. And I'd love to hear what, uh, what your favorite fire starting, uh, striker type system is, or what you use for, um, for starting fires. If it's cotton or Vaseline or steel wool with a, a nine volt battery, uh, or what the case is, I'd love to hear it. If you drop it in the comments and as always, thanks for watching outdoor gear and skills, and we'll see you out there.